Cancer, there is something that you need to take a closer look at. Spirit is very clear here that now's a time for careful assessment, close discernment of anything that is happening in your life, whether this is some kind of business contract, a large purchase you're making, a relationship, your own thoughts, your spiritual growth, whatever is happening now that is kind of changing and transforming and on the move, or there's something being presented to you, maybe this will come up in time in the next three months, but whatever it is, there's something here that's in your blind spot that spirit wants to shine a light on and reveal to you and once this is revealed it's imperative that you are very discerning and you take a close look at the fine print metaphorically or maybe actually i'm going to dig deeper with the tarot cards and see if we can get more information on what this is all about but the two cards that I got for you are assessing and discernment. Uh, we have nine and ten. So there's a progression here that Spirit is showing me. You're, you've gone from this kind of perhaps vague awareness that something was off or there was something that you needed to pay more attention to, to really knowing deep within your soul and intuitively that hey i need to slow down for a second and really pay attention to what is being said to me what i'm listening to what i'm considering doing next okay i really need to think about all of the the letters i'm hearing all of the letters i'm hearing e the letter e uh, i'm seeing this as like a a tone to the tone e i don't know or the note e interesting <laughs> okay so there's something that you really have to pay attention to now i got these messages for you and i don't know what's been going on the last couple days because i got this for pisces too but the messages that are coming through are like full <laughs> like full thoughts and sentences and typically i get words and like random bits of information that i piece together but in the last few days, Spirit has really come through with some like direct kind of information or thought forms for you to pick up and consider. Now, it sounds, it's interesting the way it came through. So take it as a metaphor, take it literally. Um, yeah, th the word holy was used, but you don't have to take this as a religious message. It's more spiritual. It's from your higher self. It's from your guides. Okay, so I got the holy sun is shining upon you as you journey through the many layers of your experience on earth. The sun offers warmth, love, growth and protection. You are the moon. You have been tasked to carry a lot today. Allow yourself to release the waters of the moon. Witness a rainfall, then visualize to materialize. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Cancer. Um, and I feel like Spirit is literally saying witness a rainfall. Next time it rains, stand outside, look at the window, witness the rainfall, and visualize some form of emotional release, energetic release, and also think about what it is that you want to materialize here on earth for yourself and think about the water not just as a release but also as a watering of the seeds that you've planted it's actually really supportive this message here and i love how spirits coming through with the sun and you being the moon because i feel like oftentimes we forget that or we don't talk about it enough when it comes to cancerian energy you are the moon and therefore the counterpart for you is the sun and having that counterpart's support in your life is very important for your balance Okay, so there could be something about a Leo, but I feel like this is not really about sign specific stuff in terms of the sun. It's like more the actual sun. <laughs> okay, hmm, the star I'm hearing, the star, the star in your light, the star in your light. I meant to say life, the star in your light. Okay, then I heard something about, I just saw 420 on the clock might mean something to someone. I saw nursing, uh, nursery, something about maybe you're a nurse but i also saw nursery as like um, a place where you buy plants and flowers and then also blue lots of blue spirit said you need to surround yourself with blue lots of blue and it's funny because that light i could i program the colors on my phone and typically i do purple uh, just because i like the way it looks but today the light like kept flashing like it wouldn't stay on the color that i wanted it to stay on 
and the only color it would stay on is blue, <laughs> okay? And you need to stretch your body, okay? So when you get up in the morning, like really stretch it out, maybe even right now, like, oh, that feels so good, right? So you need to stretch um, and get that energy moving through you. This is also a form of release. So Cancer, I'm excited to get in here and see what else Spirit has to say to you. I'm gonna list all the decks that I use in the description box below. Uh, first, we'll use this Oracle deck to see what energies are supporting you as well as what is challenging you and then tarot. And then I'm also gonna layer up with this timing deck. Uh, there's months in here. There's advice on when something's gonna come through. I'm not sure why we need the timing deck, but we'll see what happens. All right, Cancer, let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andy. This is 13 Moon Tarot. <laughs> and if you're returning, thanks guys for all your support. So let's see, Cancer. Some of you are preparing to uh, be on stage, but I feel like this is metaphorical. I'm seeing someone walk up to you and have a conversation with you and you feel like you have to perform or you are going to perform in a certain way. It's not negative. It's kind of like you're aware that you need to kind of shield yourself uh, in some way. So maybe this is part of your discernment. There's something you need to, it's like know when to be vulnerable and when to tuck that away, okay? Because there is, yeah, look, wound in reverse. There is somebody coming in or maybe already around. Yeah, this is a this is important, very important. Um, yeah, because this could affect your abundance um, ultimately. So this person uh, is charming, charismatic, interesting jovial right <laughs> jovial and um there could be a desire you have to let your guard down in a way that doesn't serve you because you don't know this person at all i'm hearing like you don't know their intentions or you don't know something about them this feels like it could be a new person but i'm not really sure Okay, boundary. Yeah, look, I just cut on boundary. This is a, a big message here for you to keep your boundary. This could be someone that you just meet randomly on the street or in, at work or something like this, but it's it's not that you need to be afraid of this person or like suspicious and all this stuff. Don't I'm hearing don't get scorpionic. <laughs> okay, sorry, Scorpio, if you're here. Um, yeah, don't get that way, but just be like, okay, well, I don't really know this person. I don't know why they're talking to me. I don't know what they what they want to get out of me. I'll just listen, assess, assess what it is they're saying, and also the way they're saying it, the way they're carrying themselves, their gestures, their hand gestures, I'm hearing, all of it, like their body language. I'm hearing sleight of hand, okay? So there could be something here where this person is telling you one thing to distract you from learning another. Uh, and you just have to be conscious that this person has not earned your trust yet. And for some of you, it could be someone who has already broken your trust. Hopefully not, but reserve your vulnerability at this time because this person hasn't earned your trust. Boundaries to, to protect your wound, okay? Like you're treating a wound right now, you're healing something, and it's not time to expose this wound uh, to this fresh face I'm hearing. Very interesting. This feels very important, Cancer. Maybe you can get vulnerable in time, but not right now. So let's see. Because I did get, I don't know if I said this, I got something about a blind spot, needing to know your blind spot. Yeah, I think I said that. Needing to know your blind spot. Because look, you're holding something very special here. The sun. 
look at this, the sun and the moon. The sun is shining upon you as you journey through the many layers of your experience on earth. The sun offers warmth, love, growth, and protection. Yeah, and so the moon here, Spirit is saying, the moon here is like, you, you've been carrying a lot of heavy emotions or a lot of mental, um, well, there's two words coming up. I'm hearing deepening and fortitude. You've been learning how to be slow in your thinking, something like that. So, hold on a second is interesting because I'm seeing these clouds here like rain clouds and spirit saying allow yourself release to release the waters of the moon witness a rainfall then visualize to materialize right so I feel like this is your current state where there's like a big rain cloud forming um, in your mind uh, and this is a good thing because you're going to release the, the waters from this cloud that that's forming and it's like this person comes along and maybe your energy gets redirected or distracted into this person rather than into what you're creating okay and because of this assessing card looking over i feel like this is what spirit really wants you to realize is how much potential you have to materialize something that you want for yourself and to know when you're being taken away from that and distracted by someone or something, an entity perhaps even, or yeah. So let's see for Cancer Spirit Guides. What's up here for Cancers? What energies are supporting Cancers? And then we'll do what energies are challenging. For cancers, wherever cancer is in your chart. Support, chaos. Ooh, that's a good uh, alert. <laughs> okay, let's see the challenge. And love. This looks like chaos, doesn't it? This love card. I feel like we've had this card for you before. Okay, I want to go into what's hidden support, union. Look at the sun and the moon. Yes, okay, and the challenge hidden, escape. Okay, Cancer, yeah. A little bit of escapism into the domain of love <laughs> is your challenge. And this could be like being overly romantic. Now, I, my Venus is in Cancer. I'm a sucker too. I'm a sucker for romance too. And I can get a little bit lost. Now, this is going to depend on your chart and all of these things and who you are and your life experiences. But what Spirit is showing me in your challenge position is that when you fall in love or when you are hurt by a situation in which love should be exchanged, whether this is with family, friends, yourself, or a romantic partner, it can be easy to pull all of your energy and attention over into that part of your life and it's like a little bit of an escapism um, from from what it from i'm hearing regeneration from creating something new i'm hearing don't put all your eggs in one basket i feel like spirit is saying it's okay to fall in love, right? And those hormones that happen during that process of falling in love definitely get us to escape, right? Like we're so preoccupied with this other person and everything um, that we can forget what we need to do. And it's okay to feel all that, but, but use your discernment to know that unions should not cause chaos unnecessarily I'm getting and that you should be able to take care of what you need to take care of when love is in the picture now there's also something here about heartbreak and pain and all of that stuff and you could be escaping um, into the world of disappointment I'm hearing disappointed in love 
and it's kind of like a warped reality because spirit is showing me like there's actually a big union here for you this is interesting so is this new person coming in trying to romance you possibly or trying to build some connection in which a vulnerability is asked of you so with the support union and chaos this is good because you've come to some awareness some realization about the role of chaos within a union when when it belongs where it belongs and when it doesn't so chaos can like break up rigid structures for us and like free up energy so that we can reform it into something that we want so when we fall in love like things can feel like a whirlwind right a little chaotic and then we reform our life into something that we want but then there are relationships that are like chaos in terms of just pure destruction and when there's pure destruction in a union well there really is no unification at that point there's a wedge that is constantly being driven between these two souls the energy of chaos i feel like you've recognized something about this maybe the blind spot has to do with this i know this might sound like 1616 exactly the tower right so i know this might seem like a silly question but do you feel bored when there isn't a certain level of drama or chaos in a relationship did you grow up around chaos and drama and now that's like been conditioned into you as like your picture of romance and love or do you do anything and everything in your power to avoid chaos that you won't even allow the good uncertainty to creep into a relationship i don't know I, no judgments this is just what's coming through something to consider i want to go a little bit deeper actually spirit because i want to see um i mean this is a kind of a little abstract let me see further about the strength for cancer what energies are supporting birth again yeah and listen there's something your soul wants to like bring into being i'm gonna what is it <laughs> what is it focus and trust hmm. hmm it's repairing your trust with yourself and then with others whoa so this person that's like i'm talking about that's coming up to you coming in is kind of like your opportunity to show yourself that you really do trust your intuition and that you have learned valuable lessons hard lessons explore escape love and explore for the challenge yeah but there's some kind of temptation to to flow and then we have rage and expand to flow towards something that is a little explosive okay perhaps in the past you've expanded out of explosive relationships this has definitely been a situation in my life that i've gone through where i've been like in chaotic explosive full of turmoil relationships that ultimately led to my expansion and so there could be a recollection or a memory or some kind of emotional imprint subconsciously perhaps where you're associating your expansion with this union of chaos i don't know take it or leave it right like if you if this doesn't work for you if this isn't resonating then just be like no andy i'm cool <laughs> i'm cool this isn't my message okay so i don't know something to think about let's see let's get into the tarot and if that resonates with you what you have to remember is that it's ultimately your expansion well it may be um triggered by a, another person or a difficult situation you are free to expand king of pentacles 
in a safe and um in an ordered fashion in a less chaotic fashion okay let's leave that there It's, it might require a little more effort to do that, actually, to expand when everything's calm and good and makes sense to you and everything is, you know, in order in your life. It may be harder for you to expand in that energy, but it is 100% possible. There's other ways to introduce divine feminine chaos, chaotic energy, chaos, right? Like the, just think of chaos as like a breaking up of rigid structures, like this creative energy, like the unknown. There's a way to bring that into your life without having to um, introduce someone else and their shadow. Okay. Three more. I'm seeing the three of pentacles. There are people who who want to work with you in an ordered way. I don't know what this is. In a way that um, makes sense. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to put them face down. No, I'm hearing no. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, yes. This is kind of this is a pretty clear message. So, let's get those timing cards out and see what's going on here. And then I'll tell you what we got. Something about a racetrack or race cars. Leg tattoos or something about someone's legs or is it sticking out to you? Okay, let's see. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Mm-hmm. This person could be coming in tomorrow. Okay, hold on. Okay. It says, take your time at the bottom. Take your time discerning and assessing the situation, Cancer. Very, very important. Okay. Uh, I just want to see there's something hidden. Something um, about June could be coming up right now, or the energies around this started in June. Okay, or your blind spot was made aware to you in some way in June. So let's see here. Could be June of this year or another year. Let's see. I... Weird. There's a lot of like um, touching of the cards happening here and putting things in, or in order. Yeah. Okay. Your overall energy, Cancer, we have judgment and time is now. Whoa, <laughs> this is a big awakening. Eyes open, eyes wide open, I'm hearing, to what's in front of you. And look at this card. There's a woman here with a mirror and she's holding it up, like looking at her face, which looks like a mask here. There's um, somebody else here, presumably a man, who's holding a candle, also wearing a mask, and then a child, and we don't know if the child is wearing a mask or not. So I feel like here Spirit's talking about your the moon and the sun, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and in the middle is really where you, you are, where you ought to be, which is in this um, new energy. This new unfoldment in your life is bringing you closer to your divine purpose 
okay? And there's something that needs to be pushed to the side or that you need to really think about, is this person, is this opportunity something I want to put into the fold of what I'm trying to do here in my life that is new and that gives me some kind of foundation and reinsurance of who I am and where I'm going. So maybe some of you have started a business or you have like a new um, venture that's happening and you need to really think about, it. does this person fit? Does this person belong if this, regardless of who the person is, past, present, future, does this person fit in? Because the time is now to assess this and to use your discernment about who you want to take with you to the next timeline and the next portal. Okay, because the door is already open. You've gone through the portal. I actually opened my eyes this morning and got a little notification that a new timeline has begun. Okay, <laughs> little notification from spirit. I feel like cancer, this is important that you decide who goes into this new timeline with you because it's happening right now. There could be something about Lionsgate coming up, 8-8 portal. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a reading for that. So really use your discernment. I'm even seeing these eyes on the angel wings here. So you, as your overall energy, you are most likely feeling very kind of almost serious in a sense, very kind of like, hmm, let's take stock of what's going on now in my life or hmm, I like, I don't know who this person thinks they are. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, there's some critical thinking happening, which is really good because there is a tendency to escape into love and you might not even see it that way, but you kind of do get swept up when you're vibing it, okay? In, in a way where you could potentially not see things coming or miss the red flags, okay? So let's not harp on that too much because I feel like you've already been through the fire. But Spirit really wants you to listen here to this energy, look in the solar plexus that wants to come into form, this, this new path for you. So the opportunity for you, Cancer, or no, sorry, what you don't see coming is the Seven of Pentacles, and then we have in reverse within a year. So this is interesting because this is a card of having patience, taking stock of what you've created, being accountable for your actions. It can also be a card of like, frustration like why isn't this shit growing like what's happening why am I still in the same spot and within a year in reverse it's almost like you can't see the goal post is what I'm getting you don't know where you're kicking this ball to huh, interesting soccer metaphors <laughs> you can't see the gold goal post gold post I almost said the gold you can't see the gold quite yet why is this an opportunity Well, I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is also a card of being present, taking stock of the current moment. This is also assessing, right? And discernment. So I feel like if you don't know how this year is going to end, or you don't know what the next year of your life is really going to look like, and that's bringing you some kind of anxiety or frustration, Spirit's saying, like, now is the time time is now to really take stock and assess that's how we started right like if you have a contract something's coming up for you it's like read all the fine print someone offers you something say thank you i need to think about it and go think about it don't feel compelled to say yes or no right away take your time somebody messages you somebody comes back around you say like got your message i'll get back to you like you know take some time to think carefully and think about how this is affecting you in the now and whether you can see this situation being fruitful for you um, in the next year hold on can i get one more on on this within a year in reverse 
three of wands yeah it's like your vision is obstructed a little bit here because you need to pay attention to the blind spot so when we think about a blind spot like a car you know it's interesting because i was in a car the other day with someone and i was like stop driving in their blind spot and he was like i'm not <laughs> and what did he say he said um the blind spot is when i can't see them anymore and like in the side mirror that's their blind spot when i can't see them anymore i still thought he was driving in the blind spot but um <laughs> yeah that's metaphorical here for you could be something about capricorn energy too but the blind spot is when they can't see you anymore i don't know make of that what you will but i felt guided to kind of like demonstrate here the blind spot so anyways when you're driving right <laughs> you want to check your blind spot before you change lanes uh, because you can't see the other person in the mirror whoa this is so freaking metaphorical <laughs> so you have to turn around and look and then move in front of the other person or let them pass if i keep going on this metaphor I'll, i'm gonna probably drive myself nuts so i'll just leave that there for you can think about it maybe pause and and think about what that means metaphorically okay because there's something there needing to check your blind spot and then there's a question about, do you want to allow this person to pass or do you want to go in front of them? Maybe do you want to lead the way? Do you want them to lead the way? Are you okay with them getting ahead? Do you want to be ahead? Like, I don't know. There's something there, okay? So your opportunity, Cancer, is the moon. <laughs> Look at this moon card. The water you are the moon you have been tasked to carry a lot today allow yourself release the waters of the moon uh, witness a rainfall then visualize to materialize so the opportunity is exactly that to visualize something in order to materialize it to release to watch an actual rainfall wherever whenever that is wherever you are i feel like it has to be an actual rainfall not something simulated okay um, and maybe it doesn't happen for a while, that's okay. But when it does, make sure you watch it. Or maybe you have done this recently. And there's something about... You realizing what really matters to you. Then we got the card August in reverse. This could be a process that continues on into August, this uh, manifesting moment, visualizing to materialize, or you might need to assess and discern from now all the way to August. Let's see. Tell me more. Four of Swords. Yes, definitely a time to rest your mind, to think carefully, but not in a fren frenetic way, like calmly. And listen to your dreams with the four of swords in the moon like that is definitely saying that there's information in your dreams and if you don't dream which a lot of people say on my channel that they don't dream i just saw three 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 um then just write down whatever comes to your mind as soon as you open your eyes because whatever that thought is it's halfway at at least halfway from your subconscious uh, which has a lot of information in it so just write whatever happens to come to your mind as soon as you open your eyes and perhaps that will spark, get the ball rolling uh, on your dream state. Okay, so there's information there. I'm seeing something about Egypt as well. Something about a flower, a very particular flower. I'm hearing daffodil. Okay, but it could be any flower. So that's the opportunity is to think carefully and if you're if you have to make a decision i feel like spirit saying um if you can prolong it prolong it and 
potentially don't make it. Yeah, going to take a while. Don't make this decision in August. I don't know. You're going to have to use your discernment because it's a general reading. So, you know, really check with yourself and your guides and your own readings, you know, and find out what's the best timing for you. But Spirit is saying that August in reverse might not be the time to sign contracts or to do anything major. The energy needs to clear out and it's going to take a bit of time. Now, the challenge is the Page of Cups in tomorrow. This is why I said this person might be coming in tomorrow. This could be um, like literally you meet this person tomorrow or something happens with this person. Or it could be like the energy begins to come in, this energy around love and um, something exciting that you want to head towards. But see how like his head is now turned, distracted from the cup where the child is, your rebirth. It's like this new thing person it's like oh look at you over there and then it's like everything else that really matters to you gets sidelined and i feel like spirit is saying that is the challenge to like don't allow that to happen anything else about this person or energy entity coming in queen of pentacles it feels like they could be offering you something they could appear very knowledgeable, very stable, solid, secure. There, there's something um, like taurine like about their energy. Okay, so this could be about business. But it could also be love where this person just feels like they have their life perfectly put together. Like everything's working for them or they're on their way to do that. They're very self-reflexive, etc., etc. And maybe they are, but... Boundaries, discernment, and assessing are really, really your guidance, okay? So take some time before you open up about yourself. I'm hearing pincers. This person could have cancer in their chart too because it's like the wound. It's like they could, I don't know, they could touch your wound in some way that um, is not... Um, for your benefit. Take it slow, the Hierophant and Temperance, and trust your own divine wisdom, okay? And maybe even wisdom of like someone that usually clears things up for you when you're in a state of anxiety. So let's see your what's going to manifest <clears throat> what's going to manifest in the next three months we have the fool card yay cancer this is your rebirth this is you deciding to take a new path and then we also have this card just in a few days in reverse and i feel like this is you actually not worrying so much about what's up ahead It's kind of going one day at a time with a larger picture still like in the back of your mind, but it's less stress and concern, I feel, for like what's going to happen in a, in a few days from now or, you know, I don't know. It's some kind of relief from needing to have everything planned out or known to you. There's some kind of adventure I even feel like you're about to go on. Tell me more about this adventure. King of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely an adventure ahead. Something that lights you up. I'm hearing that makes you powerful. Three of Swords that potentially heals your heart. What is this adventure? Page of Swords that gets you to see something fresh and new. Okay, but what is the actual thing here? Where, where are we going? Will and resistance there's something you've been resisting or like you've wanted to do like your will your your solar plexus has like really wanted to go to this place to create this place to make this business happen it's like but you kept pushing yourself back or creating some doubt or there was resistance in the energy and then in the next three months you're gonna go somewhere or you're gonna do something a little bit um adventurous as you see it 
and it's going to get you to look pat or look into where your resistance is actually coming from and it's coming from some form of heartbreak heartache okay i feel like maybe someone planted seeds of doubt in you a long time ago and they're still kind of there and you're going to uproot them and go forward with your ultimate plan i'm hearing wow cancer <laughs> i'm gonna go into an extended reading in the extended we go a layer deeper uh, and see what comes out the link for that is in the description box below but if you don't want to come to that or you can't for whatever reason then just trust that spirit gave you a ton of information here for you to consider i love you so much i'll see you next time